I'm Robert Osborne. You know, one of the great things about having a film library as extensive as we have here at TCM is the chance it gives us to really delve deep into the careers of various actors, the well-known and the little-known. Well, take Cary Grant, for instance. All movie watchers know his most famous films, of course, North by Northwest, Gunga Din, Notorious, and The Fair to Remember, among the many. But every once in a while, it's really fun, I think, to go back and see some of the lesser-known films a star like Cary Grant has been in, especially movies he made when he was still an up-and-comer in the business. And that's just what we have for you next, a film Cary Grant made before he became a genuine top-of-the-line star. The movie is The Toast of New York. It's from 1937. As you'll see when the credits roll, he gets second billing this time, the top number one spot going to character actor Edward Arnold. Interestingly, Cary at the time was forging a career in a very risky way as a freelance actor. Now, most actors in those days were under exclusive contract to one company, not Carey. He was working at all the studios, basically a free agent, but holding special commitments at RKO and Columbia Pictures to do a specific number of films for them, but only if he liked what they offered him. Well, this next film, The Toast of New York, is one that Carey made for RKO. It's a biography of a real-life fellow named Jim Fisk, who in the 1860s went from being a medicine show con man becoming one of the banking wizards of America. This is a very Hollywood look at Fisk, by the way. It said in real life Fisk was such a ruthless shark that there's no way anyone would pay a nickel to see a movie about him. Well, anyway, in our movie, Edward Arnold plays Fisk, Cary Grant plays his business partner, and Francis Farmer, the wonderful, complicated Francis Farmer, plays the beauty that they both love. So have a look here from 1937 with Jack Oakey, also in the cast, the toast of New York. Thank you. 